I was living in an apartment complex years ago and um, I had always worked with women and especially youth. Um, that was kind of how it started. I was uh, working at a school as a residential program as a house parent and so I had 12 teenage girls in my home. Um, and my husband and I were, you know, would live in a little apartment next to that. And we did everything to sort of raise them and send them to school. And I started creating a wellness program within that home for these girls. Cause they would, a lot of them came out of a life of poverty or hardship and, um, you know, didn't have these life skills. They didn't really know a lot about how to develop healthy patterns. So I started just teaching to that naturally, you know, through life skills, meal preparation. We would work out together every day after school. We would do some sort of exercise program. I have been a runner for most of my life, so I kind of started them on a running program. And um, it, it developed out of that. And then when we left that school, um, I was thinking, wow, I kind of want to keep with this. I really like where this is going. I like developing wellness programs. I like exercise. And so we moved into this apartment complex a while back and I just started putting up flyers around the complex of, hey, any women who want to work out in their own in their own backyard, let's meet in the fitness room, you know, contact me. And um, so I had a number of bites and I would meet them down in the apartment gym, fitness room, and we would start working out and then I would kind of create this program through based on what they needed specifically. And they're always tailored to the client. So I don't really have one size fits all. It's very much like, what does this woman need right now and how do we get it? Um, I then contacted a women's gym that was in the area I had found and just sort of strolled in there one day and said, hey, what kind of wellness program do you guys have? I'm, this is what I do. And um, she said, oh, let's talk. So we ended up creating a program for the women. They didn't really, they had a few women who were kind of like doing personal training, but it wasn't really going beyond that. And I said, let's bring a nutrition piece into it. Let's bring an empowerment piece into it, you know, and um, we kind of created this program. We brought in some other trainers that we were able to train and set up in that. And I was doing that for a while and that was really safe and easy and I enjoyed it. I loved my clients, but as time went on, I realized, okay, this is, um, kind of complacent here, this is pretty easy and I feel like maybe I need to be doing a little bit more and um, and she gave me free reign so it wasn't, you know, that it was just, I just felt like it would need to be more. My husband had gotten a new job and we were considering Frederick um, as a place to move to as a, sort of a middle ground and uh, we found this great location and I thought, you know, this could work, like I could sort of do my own thing and not be under the protection of a gym and not go meet at people's houses, I could actually do this. And it was so scary and we went back and forth for months and he's like, you can do it, you know you can. I'm like, yeah, but what if it fails? And, <laughs> and we were sitting outside on the deck on Easter, I remember this, and we were playing cards. And I said, okay, if I flip down a five, then we'll just move to Frederick and do it. And I flipped down a five and oh I threw the whole deck. Oh I was like, God. oh my God, yeah. I <laughs> and yeah, I couldn't believe it. And, um, and he said, what do you think about that? And I'm like, I think that we need to just do it then, you know? And um, so we made plans and like two months later, we had moved in to Frederick and I had set up my studio there right on, um, on East and Patrick, right by Shabro. Everybody Square and I just started hitting the streets and meeting people meeting a lot of the entrepreneurs you know most of the shops over in Everready Square are women's focused you know there's clothing and salons and spas and I thought this is perfect this is my market this is my audience and so yeah I just started meeting all the owners there and putting my business cards everywhere and it has just taken off it's incredible and honestly I sit there sometimes and I'm like I really am not doing anything this is just happening <laughs> I'm just doing what I do, you know? It's amazing. Um, so yeah, in a nutshell, <laughs> a very big nutshell, that's kind of Oh, that's, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Let's pause for just one second. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Miss Nellie is gonna take, uh, Nellie, this is Liz. Hi, Hi. Nice to meet you, welcome. Thank you.